Hi, I'm Agent Yang, and I'm going to show you how to set up a Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. Here's what you'll need. The Galaxy Watch 3, along with the wireless charging cable. The wireless charging cable comes in a special cardboard insert, so make sure you don't throw away the box before you find it. If you're going to plug it into a power outlet, you'll need an optional wall charger. Or you can also plug into a computer USB port. Today, I'll be setting mine up using a Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus that already has the Galaxy wearable app installed. But you don't need a phone to set it up. You can use another device, or you can do the setup on the Galaxy Watch 3 directly using the on-screen prompts. Just know that the steps will be a little different depending on the device you use to set it up. First, plug the included wireless charging cable into a wall charger or computer USB port. Your watch's screen will turn on, and you'll see an icon telling you it's charging. When the battery is fully charged, you can disconnect it. Then press and hold the power button, which is right here. Hold the power button until you feel the watch vibrate and the logo appears. You'll see a let's go message on the screen. So let's go. Swipe up from the bottom of the watch screen to display steps to setting up your new watch. If you're using a smart device during this process, open the Galaxy Wearable app and tap Get Started. From the Pick Your Device options, select Galaxy Watch 3. Now choose Allow and Connect to your watch. Give the app permission to connect, and then when you're prompted, click Connect on both your watch and the app to finish pairing. When it's paired, review the license agreement and privacy notice. And if you agree, select Allow Additional Permissions. The app will also ask if you want to link the Galaxy Watch 3 plug-in with your Galaxy Watch 3. Tap OK. And then, if you're OK with it, check all the circles to enable Find My Watch, Find My Phone, and Mapping Technologies. Also, you should know that you can enable more features through the Get More with your Samsung account screen. You'll just need to enter the information for your Samsung account. If you don't have an account yet, you'll need to create one. And here's a tip. Choose a strong password not one that you've used for other accounts. If you need help choosing a password, we have another Tech Tips video linked in the notes that you should check out. Once you're logged in, your new Galaxy Watch 3 is set up and ready to go. Explore the app for more options, like customizing the face and using Samsung Pay for transactions just by tapping. You can adjust notifications, customize the layout, adjust sound, vibration, and screen settings, and even add music or pictures. Make sure you check out the emergency settings and the use of Bixby, Samsung's voice assistant. Those can be really helpful. You can also find backup and restore options, any new software updates that are available, as well as the user manual. It's all right there in the app. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, give it a like. If you have questions, let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech tips from Best Buy. Thanks for watching.